March 19, 2015, Kabul, Afghanistan. A young woman named Farkunda Malikzada is viciously assaulted in broad daylight by a frenzied horde of men. She is killed and her body burned. At the time of Farkunda's murder, American and NATO troops had occupied Afghanistan for 14 years. Western forces had invaded following 9-11. Their mission? To drive out the Taliban. One justification for the invasion was the promotion of women's rights. Was the attack on Farkunda a sign that nothing had really changed in Afghanistan, especially for women? There had been changes, including the creation of a vibrant independent media. Farkunda's murder was covered by TV, print and radio, forcing Afghan society to confront its deeply embedded misogyny. Media had become a battleground in the fight for gender equality. I would say from 2003, when the, me the, the free media established in this country, this, this culture has changed. University student Sahar Fitrat is a young documentarian on the front line of change. Her short film, Do Not Trust My Silence, showed how widespread and destructive the street harassment of women in Afghan society is. If I show this documentary to at least like 5,000 people, at least I have, I have brought a question to their minds. Female journalists have made inroads telling women's stories, often at risk to their own lives. One is Mozda Jamalzada. I had gotten quite a few threats from, you know, these, these clerics and some extremists that would call in the TV and they would threaten the TV station and myself and they would ask them to remove me, otherwise they would, you know, attack the TV station. <laughs> This is Afghanistan's reality. Media may provide the platform for women in their fight against oppressive social and cultural restrictions, but it comes with risks. I reported on a Taliban attack on a bank where many people were killed. I interviewed the victims' families. I also quoted a Taliban member who said that he enjoyed the attack. Afterwards, the Taliban threatened me, complaining, your stories make people turn against us when you report that innocent civilians are killed in our attacks.